Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Cheers for joining. Um, I've got a beer from the Tool. Well, it's a Eurodancer American Pale Ale. It's coming in at 6.5% ABV. Um, tool are out of Denmark. Um, I did see the uh, brewery's name. Um, I know sometimes they don't always brew in Denmark, I don't think. I think they might brew in Netherlands, I'm not sure. And I'm not going to pronounce the name. Um, I'll put it down below. It'd be easier. It's brewed with Simcoe Citra, Centennial and Australian Hop Galaxy. It's a silver bottle cap. I purchased this beer at the Ravensgate Arms. So thank you, Mark. So... Quite a big parallel, 6.5%. Quite a nice, slightly darker than I expect from a, a parallel, but then 6.5% there's going to be more malt, gives it a little bit more of a darker colour. It's a one finger, just off white, maybe a lightly yellow, lemony head. Tightly packed bubbles, slightly clear. There's a nice carbonation running through the beer. You can actually see it this time. Nice orangey colour with a slightly dark tint to it. And this is a best before the first of December, 2016. So we're in what we today, the 28th of August. Let's get an aroma then. Oh, yeah. I'm picking up them notes in the centennial hops, I think. There's a slight su sweetness to the malt. Mm, there's a slight breadiness to it. Citriness. Mango, maybe pineapple, maybe. It's still quite cold, so I'm sure them aromas will come out by the end of the review. Um, let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, nice, bready, orange front end. Citriness, gonna sneeze. Let's have one more taste in the sneeze. Mm. Slightly, there's a slightly biscuity quality. Maybe some like kind of Hovis type biscuit. Mango for sure. Maybe a bit of lime. Slightly sweet, bitter sweet. Pineapple. Yeah, pineapple for sure. Grapefruit. I don't know the IBUs of this beer. It's coming across probably between 40 and 50 if I was having a guess. Always like to have a guess. Just me. Um, what's this bottle conditioned? I'm assuming it is. It's very, very hazy in the bottle. It's slightly lighter in the glass here, so and the glass is steaming up. Being coming, well, I don't know if it's going to be a warm week or not, but it's it's been at steady temperatures here in the last week or so, between sort of the lower twenties and upper 20s to 30 so I'm glad I live on the coast this is a nice beer I've been meaning to try this beer for quite a while they've had it in the bottle shop there um, this beer I think costs four pounds so it's 
It's quite a complex beer. It's got a nice sweet malt. Kind of almost to the reminds me of a kind of a barley wine to some degree. But obviously it's not not as massively sweet as that. But it's got that kind of that sort of that bready malt, sweet bready malt at the front. Nice bitter back end. I don't know if they put any bitter in hops in this just to balance it out a bit. But it's a very good beer. It's drinking very easily for a 6.5. Very nice mouthfeel. Nice smooth. You're picking up the malt a little bit. You know it's kind of a, a bigger beer. But all the sweetness and everything else are just, just masking that. But you, you know someone who's an experienced craft beer drinker would, would pick up on it I think I don't know how I did but right back to just over a finger ahead yeah it's gone a little bit more hazy so it's a bottle conditioned beer there's very little information on this uh, we bring you the new bright hoppy and crisp pale out Euro Dancer um, Perfect party starter and sequel to the Tool Sun Dancer. Not had that before. And that's it. Uh, ingrid. Oh, yeah, it's ingredients. All right. Me trying to pronounce a word and then you can work out straight away what it is. Anyway, there's the. Uh, information there I don't know it might be too bright there you go not saying a word right rating then it's much smoother now slightly more malty not malty and that's the sweet malt it's not like a oh, it's but the hops are really shining in this beer. Really nice. Um, I'm giving that. That's pushing a 10 for me. I'm giving that. I'll give it a 9.5. I'll, I'll put that around about a 97, 98. That category out of 100. 9.5 out of 10 from me. It's a very, very nice parallel. So you've had this beer from Tool. Their Sun, Sun Dancer is the other one. The Euro Dancer. American Pale Ale at 6.5%. Let us know what you think, and I'll see you on your next review. Cheers.